Hi guys, I'm Gary with r &E Paint Supply, and uh, you can find us at repaintsupply.com. And I'm here today with Michael. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna show you a few techniques uh, and some several technical uh, specs on this Raptor u pole bed liner. You know, and this, this product, this is so versatile. You can use it for so many different things. You can use it in a truck bed. You can use it actually on the entire vehicle, on the exterior of the vehicle. Uh, if you've got an old farm truck, let's say that, uh, you know, has some body damage, you know, with, with minimal prep work, you can make that truck look good again. And, uh, but we're gonna be, today, we're gonna be spraying a, uh, uh, a trailer. Uh, we're gonna be spraying the wood bed of a trailer uh, so that we can get uh, slip resistance back in that trailer. Uh, and the cool thing about it is, going over wood, you have minimal, minimal prep work. Uh, today, we just pressure washed. I mean, we, we pressure washed yesterday, actually, and so it's nice and dried off now and now we've got it masked up and ready to spray and so we're going to be going through the process of how to mix the product uh, and how to apply it. so one thing you guys want to keep in mind anytime you're doing a wood surface especially if it's treated you want to make sure that wood is dry uh, you know treated lumber a lot of times has a high moisture content in it and this trailer is actually about six months old so this is an optimum time to do this once the wood is you know release most of that moisture and that moisture content is low because you can have adhesion issue with this Raptor product if the wood has a high moisture content in it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly mix the Raptor kit. And it's super easy. They've, it comes with, each kit comes with this mixing cup. It actually has a fill line right there on the mixing cup. And so simply all you do, take the lid off the activator and simply pour to the fill line then we're going to add the product to the liner. Okay, we're gonna put the lid back on and we're gonna shake it. Okay, and once you've got it all shaken up, and we generally recommend shaking it for about a minute to two minutes, something like that. You don't have to shake it all day or anything like that. Um, just go ahead and take the top back off and you're ready to put the gun on. Okay guys, so we've got a Raptor liner here to the U-Pole gun. Um, there's a lot of different pressures you can spray this product at. Um, anywhere from about 40 to 60 pounds is kind of where we recommend. Um, so before you get going, I always recommend you do a test spray to make sure everything's right. So I'm going to mask up here, we're going to do a test on this cardboard and then we're going to jump in. Okay guys, we've already got two decent coats on this trailer. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, especially to add a little more slip resistance, is we're gonna crank the pressure up, we're gonna stand back, and we're gonna miss what I call like a texture or a control coat over this. And it just adds some additional slip resistance to it and helps get that really uniform texture. You guys can apply two or three, four coats of this product. Just make sure you put it on a medium wet coat. Don't try to apply it all in one coat. We're gonna apply the texture. Okay guys, so uh, at the end there where I did that texture coat, I bumped my pressure up to around 80, 85 pounds. That's an optional thing like I told you guys, but I like the way it gives that nice, fine, kind of hot spray OEM bed liner texture to it. Uh, and this trailer is a 16 foot trailer, uh, and we did the quick math, and it actually averages about the size of a regular six and a half foot you know, pickup bed. So we use one gallon of the uh, Raptor on it, so it should be a fairly comparable uh, to what you would use in your standard six and a half foot truck bed. And we want to thank you guys for watching. Um, you can find us at uh, repaintsupply.com. And remember, if you'll like us and subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you.